we're about to start drawing actual graphics. And this is for lab six. So first thing I'm gonna do is create a project called picture. So we go file, a new project, picture, capital P. So now we got picture, gives us this picture uh, class right here. This is the first time we're gonna have a second Java file. So I've downloaded drawingpanel.java already. I'm gonna go over to my downloads folder. So I have it right here. Now you can uh, follow these instructions and go through uh, Windows Explorer, or if you're very careful, you can drag it. You have to put it into the right here. That would be the package. So it needs to appear directly next to picture.java. There is one thing we have to do. I'm basically just following along with this right here. We have to tell NetBeans it's in package picture. So in drawing panel, the very first line up here needs to be package picture. This way, when we use it, uh, NetBeans knows that it's in the same package as picture.java because the first line of code in uh, a picture.java file is telling it it's in the same package. All right, once we have that, we're going to start to draw some stuff. So I already have this uh, PDF opened up right here. And here we are. What we're going to do, we're going to create an object. Uh, we'll talk more about this later, but you specify the type the object name equals the word new, you repeat the type, same type, with any parameters right here. And then we're gonna call the object method. So you go object name dot method name. Uh, you've done this a little bit with system dot out dot print ln would be a method name. And then we'll pass in parameters. And we're gonna go, you're gonna use these graphics methods later but I'm gonna go ahead and go right to this outline shape slide. And if we look at it carefully, it already has public class, it's got public static void main, so it has a lot of aspects we already have in our code, so I don't wanna copy all of it. I will need this first line. I'll put it right there. It's probably gonna warn me, it's not unused import. We're about to be using it, so don't worry. Now, everything here happens in the main uh, main method. So here's the new drawing panel we're gonna create. And then we're gonna call a method on the drawing panel. So let's go ahead and paste it in here. All right, this new drawing panel, this specifies the width and height. 150 by 70 is a bit small. I'm gonna do 400 by 300, maybe 260. And we're gonna go ahead and well, let's just run it like this and see what happens actually with no extra code. So you get this drawing panel up right here. And now one thing to notice, this is still running down here. NetBeans is still running you have to close the graphics window before it's done running. So one uh, common thing I've seen is you run this and then you think you're done, you just ignore that graphics, that drawing panel, and then you go ahead and you're wondering, well, what's wrong? Because I can't run it again. Uh, you have to close the window. Uh, you also could go somewhere up here where is it? There's a stop button. You can hit the stop button right there if you want. All right, so now we're gonna paste in this code. Alt-Shift-F and run it again. And what do we think is gonna happen? Well, what's this G object? It's the graphics object and they're gonna set a color to red and then right here, fill rect. That refers up to graphics methods. And there's a coordinate system, zero, zero is the upper left. And for us, it's not gonna be 200, 100, it's the lower right. So whatever size you chose is gonna be how far to the right and down. And the best thing to do is just go ahead and run it. And you see a rectangle right there. Your mouse, if you look carefully, your mouse moving around will tell you the coordinates right down here in the lower left corner. So let's go ahead and make some modifications. We'll do uh, 100, 100, uh, 
200. All right. Remember the order is super important. So we're calling the draw rect method it has an XY width and height. So I change that around and you're going to see a very different shape down here. It's still a rectangle, but different rectangle. Uh, so that should get you started uh, when you're ready to draw your second picture. And notice there's some um, already comments in here describing what we're doing. Now I'm going to go back to the lab. We have this code to sleep and clear. I'm going to put it right here. So we have sleep and clear and then run it again. So what it did, it did the red rectangle and then this 3000 milliseconds. So 3000 is three seconds. And again, it's still going to keep running until you close the drawing panel. All right, so we're going to write some methods now. We can write them above or below main, it doesn't matter. I'll do them below and I'll call this public static void. We don't need to return anything here. I'll just call it draw figure one. And then I'm going to move all this uh, alt shift down to move it down. Now, what in the heck is G? It doesn't know what G is. The reason is this graphics object was declared in main and we're trying to use it down here. It's in a different block. So what we have to do is also pass the graphics object. And how we do that, we put it in the parameter list here. So it's the type and then the name. And we want to call draw figure, copy and paste this. I'm going to do it before we sleep. Uh, now you leave off the type here and so that'll draw your first figure and it'll work just like it did before except now it's doing that down in the method and then it will sleep clear draw the second one all right so to complete your lab you need to draw much more complex figures you also need a second method which you could just duplicate this you need to change the name. It can't just be called draw figure one. So draw figure two, replace the code in here. And I'll just drag mine down like that. And then of course we want to duplicate that. I'm using all the uh, alt shift and control shift down to duplicate and move. So there we go. We got draw figure one, draw figure two. And we can F6, make sure it still runs, got our red, and then it's pausing for three seconds, got our um, outline right there. So there you go, that should get you started.